workers carry it out. Gain piety. Gain the piety. What is Asturias doing all the way up in Britannia? Stability Brit is overrated. Stability is everything in Crusader Kings. <laughs> I'd rather have a stable small realm than an unstable big realm. Middle Frankia is not stable right now. They, they, they are doing a chair dance with kings. <laughs> it is madness. It is my that I need this one to stay because my daughter is marrying their heir. Still waiting for Rickley. <laughs> <laughs> or my king to die. Whichever happens first. My land is starting to look like it's making a little bit more sense. Perfect. So that's good. That, that's good, yes. Except where are you gonna go from here? That's more my question. Oh, nowhere for now. Because <laughs> there are no r really small people. Small people. Well, Geneva was very small, but then a duke swooped in and claimed it for himself, so not anymore. I guess Troyes is small. And Sans. True. Yeah. Yeah, Troy is very. I could I could handle Troy. He doesn't have allies actually. I have to get some money first, though. Wow. Oh. Yeah, I got a loan with you. Here you go. Have a bag. Because <laughs> <laughs> now I'm rich again. I I, made, I was made extremely rich by all the prisoners that I could sell. Because there were like three factions fighting, or three rebel leaders, and I captured all three of them. So I could sell them off for like 150 apiece. So all of a sudden I'm rich again. I'm like, ta-da! Rich, motherfuckers. Oh my word. That Marikar dude has 17 allies. And he can call at least half of them into war. Who has seven allies? Uh, the, the, the Duke from... Uh, Bar and uh, Saint Santois. Santois. Also, you still have those Britain things like Cairnev. I'm so not gonna bother. It's a pain in the butt to rule Pantiav. Pain in the butt. Pain in the butt. My prisoner here, her real this wealth is complaining about her dark cell. Let her rot. She's a 15 one year old woman. I'll be merciful. And then she turns around, swoosh! <laughs> She's too lazy for that. Never underestimate the elderly. <laughs> no, but she was also slothful and a craven. And another. <laughs> Pretender for the tro throne. You guys cut it out. 
Our king is fine. You know what? Why they're doing it? All his vassals like him. He's depressed. I would be depressed too. Everyone wants my chair. I'm depressed because all this chair dancing. People still love me because I crushed the revolt. Yeah. Wow. Crushed a major revolt. That really helps keeping me afloat. Monsieur Duchess. Nothing of this is gonna serve do me any good if I don't get a duchy somewhere. Because if they claim to lose, I'll become a count and I can't own all this stuff. No, then you'll own Borgogne and uh, Viverde. And then that's it. <laughs> <laughs> because then you can't make a duchy again because you'll have to yeah i i, I kind of think i'm getting more stuck by the episode <laughs> i kind of wriggling around in the little room bit of room that i have but it's a matter of time before someone claims to lose you Not sure if he can usurp the title, but I don't know. Possibly. child he doesn't mind marrying off to but I can't kill the family can't kill the family that's the problem ah lock him oh god are we getting factions again it only helps for so long Shame that I don't have any good assassins, otherwise I could plot to become the Emperor of the Byzantine Empire. There's just no way. <laughs> I don't have the percentages. Otherwise it would be pretty awesome. And the Latin influence to this Gothic population in the province of Viveray have now adopted new speech and new customs, becoming Occitan in culture. Vicar Viveray becomes Occitan? Yeah, apparently. Oh god. And we have a new doge. Bye-bye, thank you. So Is now this the doge that finally likes me? Yes. All think that I'm a heretic. Wait, what? Why? I don't know. Because I'm not Akitan. Well, it's not a religion, so they don't have any heretics. Oh, uh, it's a culture. <laughs> You're Frank. A cultural barbarian. Yeah, well, which is a lower, a lower minus than. Uh, but it's only the population. It's not even the um, um, a noble or something. Yeah. Like not even a character. Should be okay. Well, in these last five minutes, I 
pretty much uh, am done for today. Yeah, me too. And if we do anything more in this playthrough is uh, unsure, uncertain. Yes, the future of this playthrough is unfortunately uncertain because next time Conclave has hit and we don't know whether we can continue or whether, just like with Horse Lords, um, it will corrupt the save, it will corrupt the game state. So we're going to have to find out. Um, I will be streaming Conclave before this challenge though so we will know before this challenge um whether or not conclave messes up game saves because i have a empire prepared in my private game that i will be checking out if um save states don't get corrupted uh i'll be checking that out on stream with conclave installed so we can see immediately because it's an entire empire we can immediately see the effects of all the uh council and the uh, child <laughs> education and all that stuff hey nils <laughs> hey nils what up you're hungry go get some food um how are you doing other than you're hungry i'm i'm doing great i uh, i had a lot of work i i'm still i'm in the middle of a lot of work right now but uh, doing great i love my job and uh, it's really awesome it's really amazing how uh how everything is going uh, kind of in a speedy motion right now so yeah I'm doing great getting busier every day and uh, it's awesome and uh, otherwise uh, all the streaming which I will be doing tomorrow again tomorrow early tomorrow in about nine hours I would say is my calculation correct I don't know <laughs> Um, like 10 hours is... no, because... Yes? No? <laughs> I have no idea, like 1 hour it's then, and then it's... eight. Yeah, 9 hours! Yeah, my calculation is correct. In 9 hours I'll be back on stream. Uh, and I with, will uh, be modding away in his chat! Yeah, with Borderlands. Um, we are gathered here today to eat, if not each other. I hope we're not eating each other. Um, we'll be shooting each other though, though in the Borderlands, um, with Nom Nation, people from Nomi Nom's community. Uh, no, I prefer if you not eat me, Nails. I prefer if you would not eat me. That would be awesome. Um, and also, after Nomi Nom's stream, I will be taking a small bit of time. As a extra stream um, to be uh, showing you guys up Eternal Crusade. Yes, indeed, the non-disclosure agreement has been lifted. I've been playing the alpha for quite some time already. Um, the non-disclosure agreement has been lifted. I can finally show you guys why I think this game is gonna be awesome. So after tomorrow's Borderlands uh, stream, I will be streaming one or two matches of Eternal Crusade. So you'll see some alpha footage of the game uh, that is now in early access on, on Steam. Um, this game is Crusader Kings 2, which is a game where you play a medieval dynasty in a sort of sandbox kind of way. So there are no real objectives other than make sure your dynasty survives. Um, and you RPG characters like, I'm currently playing Despot Lutiprand, as you can see here. You RPG your ruler. You're not playing the country, but you're playing the ruler sitting on the actual throne. And you have to do all kinds of Game of Thrones, like plotting and backstabbing and uh, world conquering. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if you want to say anything, Bookfish, before we close off uh, this evening. Well... Oh, really, I'll be modding in Astral's chat tomorrow while I'm doing my homework and I'll be writing a lot this weekend, mostly off stream, a little bit on stream. Yeah, gonna see what happens. <laughs> gonna see what happens. Hey Nils, you came in right in time for the end of the stream, really. 
Indeed, you came in right in time in the end. Um, final few announcements for me. Next week, I will be streaming on Monday and Thursday. Um, on Monday, I'll be streaming Pillars of Eternity, continuing the ever so dramatic storyline to see if I can finish it. And on Thursday, I'll be streaming this again with uh, Conclave. I'm doing good, Nils. Look, fish is good. Look, fish is riding away at her, uh, at her projects. Hi. Oh, sad nails. Oh, sad nails. Poor nails. In any case, I hope to see you guys tomorrow in uh, nine hours. And uh, <laughs> yeah, see you guys then. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys, and the Thanks. support. Thank you so much for watching and supporting and all the good stuff. It, it was great. It was fun. I'm, uh, I'm having fun. And I'm really looking forward to, uh, to Conclave. Thank you, Silence. See you. Bye.